Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to another Train Sim World video. Today we're going to be powering America. Yep, that's what we're going to be doing. We're driving a CSX locomotive, and uh, yeah, that, that's the mission. Power America. You've been assigned a unit coal train today, which is currently a Rockwood loading facility. First, complete coal loading, then bring the train back to Cumberland Terminal. Okay, so we got to get inside. we got to go ahead and start loading our coal. All right, let's get on with it. Hey! Okay, so I guess first things first is we gotta go ahead and get inside. So, climb up the stairs, go ahead and open up this little door, go ahead and close the little door. Wait, I can't close it. Oh, there we go, close the little door, open a little door, close the little door. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of opening and closing little doors, and we'll end up in the inside. Let's go ahead and sit in the engineer's seat, and uh, I guess we gotta start going forwards, uh, which is completely fine. Now, there is one thing that I don't know how to do in this uh, this locomotive, and that is to go slowly. Um, I remember that there is a function in here to do it, but I can't remember how. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just start going forwards. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this to forwards, go ahead and start uh, this to go forwards. There we go. Wait, this is backwards, isn't it? I forgot. There we go. It's been a long time since I've actually used these trains. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. There we go. And we should start moving forwards, hopefully. Unless I've just turned off the engine. Uh, which, in that case, we're not going to move. <laughs> Alrighty, so, first things first is we got to start this thing back up. Because at the minute, I accidentally turned it off when I did the emergency brake. Anyway, we'll go ahead and turn off the independent brake, because we don't need that right now. And we'll start going forwards. We need to get underneath that, which is like a coal hopper kind of thing. Uh, that's going to drop it down into my cars, which are right behind me, as you guys can see. These things right here are empty. Uh, I don't know why I don't just attach to that one next to me. That would be great. I could just take that one instead. Uh, but that's not a thing. We can't do that. Anyway, we're going forwards. We're going to have to get underneath this thing, and it should drop stuff into my cars. Nice. Okay, I feel like we're going a little bit fast now, so we're going to go ahead and start to slow down. We're only on power one, so let's go ahead and back it off to, like, I don't know, st set up. Sure, there we go. And uh, we should have to just get underneath this. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put this to, like, yeah, there we go. And we'll start applying this as well. There we go. So we're underneath the thing. Uh, we need to go forwards a tiny bit more, which is fine. We can release this. We can go ahead and release this as well. And we can start going forwards a tiny bit, okay, a tiny bit at a time. Uh, and basically, we want to get the cars underneath it. Now, there should be a button in here somewhere to allow us to go through slowly. Uh, which I'm not entirely sure. It's speed control's right there. So maybe if I press this. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know what I've just done. Slow speed, please. That would be great. There we go. And we'll do like, um, um, plus one, plus, 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 plus minus one. There we go. And we'll say on. There we go. Are we going to start moving? We are moving. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so we're going through very slowly, and hopefully this will allow us to um, fill up all of our containers. Yeah. All right, hold on. We need to be going slower than this. We're already going four miles an hour. Um, can I go slower? Target speed of like three, I guess? Sure. There you go. Go ahead and start slowing us down. Because I don't think it's filling us. It's not. It's not filling us. Okay, we need to go backwards. We, we actually need to go backwards. This is very upsetting. All right, there we go. Emergency's been pulled. We're going to go ahead and turn this to, like, uh, set up, I guess? Yeah, sure. And we're going to turn... No, we can't. Okay, what do we actually turn it to? Idle, maybe? And we'll go reverse. There we go. Is that one off? That one's off. This one's off. We can go ahead and start up. There we go. So we should start going backwards again. Um, possibly, <laughs> I think. Um, but I have an idea of how it works now, so that's okay. Um... Why aren't we actually going backwards? It keeps like stopping and jolting forwards again. That's weird. That's very... Why is that happening? Oh no, it's working now. It's working now. That's good. Alright, cool. So we're going backwards very slowly. That's fine. Uh, we just need to be filling up these containers on our back. There we go. One of them's full. Uh, we just need this one to be full as well. So we'll go ahead and break here anyway. There we go. We'll turn this one to idle. Nice one. And it should fill up. There we go. 94. 94% full. Wait, do I actually have to be moving for it to fill up? Are you cereal? Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. We can do that. There we go. Start going backwards, please. That would be great. There we go. We just needed to get to 100. And then we can literally just start going forwards very slowly. And everything should be fine after that. Um, yeah, as long as I'm moving. Are these off? Yeah, the brakes are released. That brake's released. 
This is powered backwards, so we should actually start moving any time now. Let's actually go and have a little look, because we can walk out here. There we go, look at this. How cool is this? We can see it all pouring in. 96%, 97%, 98%, 99%. It's going to be done now, so we'll start going forwards again. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to start here. We're going to go ahead and fully break out breaker runes right there. We're going to go ahead and start going forwards. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to set this to forwards, okay? We're going to turn on the slow speed thing, my Bobby, right here. And uh, we're going to try and go slow speed, okay? Maybe if I push this button. Slow speed. That's probably about right. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and just start going forwards then. Here we go. My throttle's to P1. That should be fine. And it should keep me at the right speed, right? Possibly. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how this works. I'm assuming that it'll keep me at like 3 miles an hour. Because that's what that says right there. 3.10. Truly, it'll keep me at that, right? Maybe? I don't know. I really don't know how this works. Uh, so there you go. Okay, we're ending up going 3.9 miles an hour. We're just going to put this to idle. And hopefully that'll be about the right speed. I think we're going a little bit too fast though. But I'm not entirely sure. So uh, we'll have a quick look and we'll see. Yep, 3.8 miles an hour. There we go. And it's filling up now. All right. Okay, as long as that one gets to 100%, we're good. But I don't think it will. It's got to like 50. It's got to 70. It's got to 80. No, nope, 83. Okay, boys, I'm not very good at filling filling uh, car containers because this slow speed thing isn't working. Yeah, I don't know how you I don't know how you fix this. All right, backwards, please. Put the reverse run and put it in full. There we go. Go backwards. Yeah, go backwards. Full wheel spin. That's what we want. Okay, we are now going backwards again. We've actually managed to almost fill up like three containers, uh, but we were going a tiny bit too fast. So I think our target speed is actually probably more like, um, more like, I don't know, two? 2.10 miles an hour? Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, I don't know how we actually turn that on, though. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Uh, so we won't be doing that. We won't be doing that. We'll just do it like on our own, and that should be fine. All right, we're going backwards through all of this stuff. Uh, as long as you fill all of those. Yep, we filled them all. Okay, we can start going forwards now. Turn this to, like, idle. There we go. Turn this to forwards. And we'll start on the P1. All right, nice. Now, we do only want to go, like, two miles an hour. So, as soon as we hit two miles an hour, we'll go ahead and stop the throttle. And we should be going about the right speed. Now, I've messed around for too long here. So, let's go ahead and apply this emergency brake so it'll slow us down dramatically. Then, we'll go ahead and turn it off. And we should start going forwards. Yeah! Yeah! Okie dokie boys, we're moving again. We're moving forwards. Uh, if anybody knows how to turn this thing on, then let me know. Because that would be pretty cool to actually know uh, if it's working or not. Because I've turned it off, now I've turned it back on again. Um, but I, I don't know what I do with the throttle when I'm using this. Um, or whether I just just don't touch the throttle. I'm, I don't know. I actually have no idea. Alright, let's go ahead and push this to idle. We're going 2.7 miles now, 2.6. Now we're going way faster for some reason. Why are we going faster? That doesn't make any sense. There we go, 2.9, that's fine. Let's go ahead and release this brake. And we slowed all the way down. Damn it! I don't know how to go the right speed. We just keep stopping. That's not what we want. We don't want to just keep stopping, because that doesn't work. You know? You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. Put it to idle. 1.7, 1.8, 1.7 miles an hour. That seems like a good speed. But we end up gaining speed, which is a little bit strange. We're going 2 miles an hour. Yeah, alright, okay. This seems like it'll be working now. Awesome. Cool. Let's go have a look, see what's going on at the back. There we go. Meow. Okay, we're going very slowly. Hopefully that's slow enough to fill all of these containers right here. And uh, there's a lot of them. There is actually a lot of them. Um, holy bejesus. All right, cool. We're going 1.8 miles now. We should be fine uh, to fill all of these, these things up. Okay, so what's actually been happening right now is we've been slowing down over time. Now, we've got no brakes on, so I'm not entirely sure why. We've went to idle, which I was taught that sort of, like, kept you at the right speed, but that's not been happening. Um, so I don't really know what to do. I, I really don't know what to do. We've got speed control right there. Let's go ahead and push that. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and say slow speed control. That's what we need. There we go. Let's go ahead and say current speed, which is three. Uh, which is a little bit too fast, to be honest. So let's go ahead and slow that down dramatically before we go too far. Um, otherwise, if we go back over here, you guys will see that we might have gone too far. Yeah, see, 9.7. Uh, and it's not filling anymore unless we start moving. So 
Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work on this. I don't really know what to do though. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Can we go have a look see if that one actually fills up? That was a good idea because if it doesn't, uh, we got issues. But I think it will. I don't know. Can you guys see that nine? There's still a nine there. We're not really moving though. So yes. I don't know what's happening. Hold on, let's go back here. 97. We are not moving. We're not moving. But it's still flooding out. Look, it's flooding all over the floor. And, um, 97. We should be moving, though. Like, I've, I've set it to go forwards, I think. Have I? I definitely have, right? There's no brake on. Oh, we are moving. We are actually moving. Alright, now I'm slamming on the brakes, because I don't think it'll have worked. I don't think it'll have worked at all. Hold on, go back here. Yeah, see? See? See what I mean? 97. Why? Alright, we're going to go back in this locomotive. We're going to go back inside, and we're going to work this out. We need to go backwards, please. That would be great. There we go. We're going to go in reverse. We're going to go in reverse very quickly. There we go. We're going to turn off the brakes. That's fine. And we need to work out how this stuff works, because it's just not working at the minute, and I don't know why. How do I make this stuff work? I don't understand. I don't understand. Boop, 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 boop. All right, okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so we're going to go backwards a little bit. And then once we went backwards a little bit, we're going to go ahead and start going forwards. Um, and I'm going to try and keep it at the same speed again. But I, I, don't re I really don't know how to. I can see the slow speed is on, but it's it's not going 2.10. It's going way faster or way slower. It just, it just drops us down too far, which is really strange, actually. But there you go. All right, okay, cool. Put it back to zero. Put it back to four. There we go. Okay, cool. Go ahead and start going forwards, please, Mr. Train. That would be great. A whole video and trying to, try, just trying to load a train. This is impossible. I don't know why this is happening. Um, but basically, maybe we need to apply some breakages, just a tiny bit of brakes as we're going along, uh, so that it keeps us at the right speed. But I, I still don't think that'll work. Uh, is there any other buttons anywhere around here that'll help me out? Maybe something down here. I don't know. Uh, like, you can't crouch in this game, which is really annoying. But, you know, gauge lights, we don't really need those. We don't need those. Uh, is there anything over here that'll help me? Engine control. Oh. Nope. None of that'll help me. Okay. Crosswalk lights. Yeah, let's go ahead and put those on. What do they look like? What do they look like? Yeah. All right. Cool. That's nice. I, I don't actually see them, but sure. Um, right. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply some brakes. And maybe that'll keep me at about the right speed, but I don't think it will. Idle makes me go too fast or too slow. It, it makes me do something. <laughs> um, so I don't know how to do this. I, I've I've tried to apply the slow speed thing, but it's... I don't think it's working for some reason. I don't really understand how, how to make it work. Uh, but hopefully this will keep me at about three. Um, three miles an hour should be fast enough to go through here, but also slow enough to fill up all of the containers. But I could be wrong again. I don't know. Um, yeah, weird. Anyway, let's see if this one fills up. Then we'll see if the next one fills up. And... Um, yeah, I think this... Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's coming out quick enough. Oh, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. We're going 2.7 miles an hour. Is that going to fill? 98. 98%. They're literally 98%. And that one was already a bit full. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know. We're going to stop this train here. I'm just going to go ahead and stop the video here. There's no point in me carrying on when I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so if you guys know how to turn this thing on so it actually works, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. If you guys want to see some more um, of me learning how to use a train, that would be great. Um, and I'll be doing more videos on this eventually, uh, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys wanted to support me, help me get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. That's my target, and uh, if I don't hit it, I'm going to cry. Um, but there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.